Well, it's like a mom and pop restaurant. The permanent sign outside the hard hat restaurant in Worcester says it's open. The handwritten one says something else. In chalk. <laughs> come in, but not for long. You can't stay, but please come back. Oh, we go from one decision to another. We one minute we're saying we're going to close, and next minute we're saying we're staying open. Mixed messages in a confusing time. It's been hard. <laughs> I just, just. This is my only income. Governor Mike DeWine's decision to nix sit-down service means these chairs have been empty for days. When we're, you're slow, you've got to cut back on stuff. And with the new stay-at-home order, they could remain that way. Worcester has 26,000 residents, and it's only on one food delivery app. And this isn't fast food. This place here is my, like, my dream. <laughs> on this day, only loyal customers are ordering carryout. The smaller places, yeah, we're, they're going to hurt. A matter-of-fact message felt here and 25 minutes north in Seville. This, this is odd for us. Rochelle Hanshi owns Cafe on Main. This village, even smaller than Worcester, not even 2,500 people live here. I don't want to say there is a little bit of panic, but there is a little concern because uh, there was uncertainty. The cafe has curbside service now. But will there be enough business to keep everyone? We also know that there are some decisions we're going to have to make uh, coming down the line. Despite the unsettling times, Hanchi's note for small businesses is upbeat. I think, I think it'll be all right. I know it'll be all right. Caroline Sweeney, News 5.